Now, ministers and opposition front benches have been accused of trying to stitch up a deal on the controversial moves to clamp down on internet pirates before the general election. MPs on all sides voiced concerns that the Digital Econo Economy Bill, which includes the power to cut off the internet connections of illegal file sharers, is being rushed through the House of Commons tonight before Parliament is dissolved. Our technology correspondent Benjamin Cohen has this. It costs the economy more than a billion pounds a year. Millions of Brits regularly illegally download pirated content from the net. Today, Parliament is rushing through legislation to try and reverse this. Maybe there'll be a little stitch up between the three front benches, but the reality is that out there, the ordinary person who has only begun many of them to realise the repercussions of this bill are going to feel totally let down by Parliament just before a general election. This is not a harmless or victimless activity. It deprives our musicians, writers, filmmakers, actors and other artists of their livelihoods. And if we don't do something about it, it will pose a serious threat to our creative sectors and Britain's leadership in them. The Digital Economy Bill contains measures to block the internet connections of people accused of repeatedly file sharing. It requires providers to block access to pirate websites and allow the government to introduce new methods to block new forms of piracy with no reference to Parliament. It's the threat to disconnect from the internet people accused of being persistent file sharers that's most controversial. I could easily be sharing pirated content on my laptop away from home. In this case, I've tapped into the wireless internet connection of a cafe, but equally I could have gained access to my neighbour's internet. Opponents of the legislation warn that it might not be me, but the person or organisation that pays the broadband bill who could face being cut off the internet. Today, a coalition representing more than 20,000 ordinary internet users published advertisements condemning the lack of debate for measures they warn could breach human rights. And if you want to actually go to a tribunal and contest it, you'll be charged for the privilege of doing so. You won't be entitled to legal aids to contest it. None of that's fair or workable. Uh, a lot of people are going to get very angry when they realise what's going on. Because of these concerns, TalkTalk, Talk, one of Britain's largest internet providers, has said it will refuse to disconnect any of its four million customers. We will not cut off our one of our customers unless a court has decided that they are guilty. If a court doesn't decide they're guilty, disconnecting them will be a breach of their human rights. This isn't about sort of automatic disconnections as opponents of the bill sometimes talk about. In fact, there'd be a series of letters that would go to the account holder that would inform them what they could do to ensure that they didn't have any problems in the future. The creative industries say the disconnections would only be temporary and in the last resort. Opposition front benches have said they'll support the government to pass the bill with a vote later tonight. And Benjamin Cohen is sitting on Twitter right now. If you want to discuss the file sharing issue with him, that's twitter.com and at Benjamin Cohen is his username.